hi welcome to how to make a milk prop with resin so i'm going to show you what you need what, what you're going to need to make the milk prop so i'm using this type of resin it's called crafters epoxy resin it has a part a and a part b so you don't have to use this resin but you need a resin that has a part a and a part b and you got to be really precise when you um when you measure out your resin so you're going to need two cups one is going to hold part a and one is going to hold part b if you want to write like an a on one cup and a b on another cup you can do that right and so i'm gonna use these this cup has like lines ridges on it so just for the sake of this tutorial i'm gonna fill my cup all the way up to the last line but if you just want to make like a small glass of um, sorry glass of milk maybe like something like this of course you're not going to use as much you're going to use less so what you could do is like say you wanted to make something like this you're just going to go maybe up to you're going to count the lines one two three mark it a right and you go to part b and you're going to go mark the line again one two three and now you know where you're gonna fill your cup up to so you won't make too much resin so you won't waste your resin you want to make sure that you know you measure equal parts it has to be equal parts because resin is a science you need to have equal parts in order for it to get hard if you don't your resin might not set and also if it sets it might be sticky so let's say you make it and your resin gets sticky so what you can do is set your cup out like if it's set you know if it gets hard but it's sticky to the touch which you don't really want to touch it just set it out in the sun for a little bit and for a couple of hours and you should be good it should like the sun helps dry it out or if you have a uv lamp you can use that too so you're also going to need a larger size cup um, to put both of these two parts in here. You're going to put them together when you're ready and you're going to mix it up. Now don't put part A and part B together until you're ready to stir it up and make your milk. If you mix them together before you're ready, it's going to start setting. It's going to start working. You can, It gets warm and you know that the epoxy is activated and it's ready to you know make your milk so don't mix until you're ready to stir it up and add your resin colors to it okay so i'm gonna put this to the side so you're gonna need some resin some alcohol ink you're gonna need to get white i'm gonna i'm, I'm using white to make the milk and you're also going to need a little bit of acrylic paint not too much we're not going to add too much you're only going to get a couple of drops of this but you need it okay so right now i'm just going to pour out my resin so i got my part b right here i'm going to pour it into my b cup and like i said i'm going to make a big batch because I'm making a tall glass. You're also going to need a glass. So depending on the size of a glass that you're using, that's how much resin you're going to use. So this is what I do if I want to make a certain amount of resin. This is the glass I have. It's pretty big because I really can't find anything smaller than this. But what you can do is, like, say you want the milk to come up to there. Fill the cup. Fill this up with water. Then you're going to take a cup and you're going to fill it. You're going to fill, take the water that you fill this cup up with and pour it into two even parts. Okay, then you're going to look at it and you're going to mark it with your marker. 
and you're gonna see up to where you're gonna need part A and part B, and that's how you're gonna make your measurement because you might not want to use as much as I'm using. So fill your cup up with water, pour your cup out into two different cups. Make sure you put half in one cup, half of the water in another cup. Figure out where your fill line is going to be, how much you need of part A and part B. Make the line, and then that's how you're going to know. Like, say if you wanted to make this cup, you fill this cup up with water, and you're going to put a little bit in there and a little bit in there of the water, and you're going to see how much you need to make this little cup, okay? So, that's how I do it. Okay, so now I'm going to get my part A and pour that into a cup. And one part is always thicker than the other. Like part A is in, in this uh, crafter's resin is thicker than part B. Okay, so I'm good. Now make sure you wipe your container and make sure, because this stuff is very sticky, so make sure you wipe your lid and make sure that you put the right lid on the right container. Don't confuse part A, that's why I wrote an A on mine if you see. Um, lid with part with part b because once you put the uh lid from part a onto part b it's gonna seal it's gonna set and <laughs> i don't know how you're gonna open that bottle up unless you puncture it or something so be be very careful about that okay so now i'm gonna take my i'm gonna put my part a in my cup now make sure you get all all of that resin out of there so make sure you scrape all the corners get all that resin out okay you want all of that resin all of it because resin costs money. And not only that, you need to make sure that you have all of it in there so that you get a good, so it sets really well, okay? I'm trying to get like every little drop. All right, so I think that's good, right? Then you're going to get part and you're going to pour it in there and make sure you scrape all the corners as well and you get all of that resin out of there okay I think we're good so now you're going to mix this up and as you start mixing it's going to get cloudy okay you see it getting cloudy you see that it's cloudy but once it mixes well, it's going to get clear again. And then that's when we're going to add our alcohol inks and our color to make the milk, okay? So it takes a while because you got to make sure you stir it really good. Pick it up if you have to. Make sure you get, you know, a good mix. Make sure you get... Um, you start really, really good because we want our milk to set. It's starting to get clear, but we're not there yet. When it starts getting clear and you start um, seeing through it, you still might see a couple of little, like, it's going to still be a little cloudy in some spot. And you keep stirring until you don't see any clouds. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's still a little cloudy. So I'm just going to keep mixing. And don't mix it like really, really vigorously. Because we don't want 
a lot of air bubbles. We want minimal amount of air bubbles, okay? Even though the air bubbles settle, okay, I don't know if you can see that, but you see it's starting to uh, look clear, but you can still see some of the little bit of cloudiness in there. Keep on stirring. It's not ready yet. You know, you don't have to be scared of resin. Once you mix it well, you'll be okay. Let's see. Can I see any clouds in there? I think I'm good. All right, you see? It's clear now. You can see right straight to the bottom. But even then, stir a little bit more just to be sure. Okay, I think we good, we good, we good. So, I'm going to make sure I get all that good resin out. I mean, I really didn't have to take the stick out, but I'm going to add the color. So, I kind of want it. Now, make sure you shake your resin bottle really good because sometimes it's been in that box and it settles. It settles and you just need to shake it up and this one was not used so i have to make a hole in it and i'll show you how guys how to do that it, it comes with a well some of them come with a pin and uh you can pierce it you can pierce it like that but I don't know where my pen is at, so I'm just going to use this safety pen that I have here. Now, you got to be careful. Make sure you go straight down. Because you don't want to make a hole on the side. Okay? Just make sure you go straight down into the top. Because I did that. I stuck the pen in and it went sideways. And then I had a hole at the bottom. So you don't want that. Now put your cap back on. Shake it up, and now you're gonna add your resin. You're gonna add five drop, five drops. One, two, three, four, five to start. Okay. Make sure when you're done, you rinse off. I mean, you wipe off the the top, cause you don't want that res that resin. If it gets on your hands or if it gets on anything else, it, it really stains, okay? So now you get your craft stick back, your craft stick back, and you start stirring. Now make sure you get, because the, the resin likes to stick to the edges of the cup. So make sure you get all of that resin. You see it's starting to get cloudy? So we're going to mix that up. Make sure you get all the color because it likes to stick to the edge and we don't want that. So you're going to add five more drops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Then we're going to stir the resin up. Now look, you see this? You see it's the paint is sticking to the sides. Scrape that paint. Bring that paint down. You need to bring the paint down and make sure you stir it in there good. Scrape. Scrape the um, cup. Make sure you're getting all that color up in there. Like if you, this is good to like if you wanted to make like a coconut water or something. I'm going to switch this stick out because it got a little bit sticky at the top and it's starting to get on my nerves. So I'm going to get me this. All right, now we're going to add some acrylic paint. You're not going to add a lot. All you're going to add to start, you start slow. I'm adding three drops. All right, first, let me get the paint to come down. One, two, three. Well, that was four, but let's start with that. And then you're going to start mixing it up.
you start your color slowly because it depends on what alcohol inks you have. You might not want to get the alcohol inks I have or you already have alcohol inks. You will want to use what you have, right? So let's add a couple more drops. One, two, three, four. Well, it's hard to like gauge this acrylic paint. Now make sure you mix it up really good. The only good thing about resin is that you go, you can mess with it for a while before it actually starts um, setting. So I'm gonna add a couple more drops. One, two. Three, four. <laughs> oh man, this right here. You basically you're just gonna keep adding until oh it starts looking like milk. But we don't want to add too much acrylic to the resin because it won't set if you add too much. So now I'm going to add a couple more drops of resin. And I think that's going to be it. All right, I'm going to pour this into my glass. Hey, I got a little bit of paint there. So, I got my glass here. And I'm going to pour my resin in there. Got my glass here. And I'm going to pour the resin in it. Now make sure you get all of that resin up out of there. Like if I wanted to fill this up, I could have used more resin, but I really wasn't. I didn't want to fill up the whole cup, so I wasn't too sure. I'm going to have to wipe the edges down because I touched it, which I really wasn't supposed to do, but I did. See right here? Um, let me see right here. I, I touched some of the resin got in there. So you just take your wipe and just go before it sets. Make sure you wipe it off. Now you got to be very careful that you don't touch the rest of the resin. Okay. And you can wipe it down with an alcohol wipe too. So now you just let that for a few minutes. Because um, the bubbles are going to start coming up. And um, we want them to come up. And then you're going to use a lighter. To bust some of those bubbles so let's let that come up for a minute so you can see you can start see you can see the bubbles coming up see the bubbles I don't know if you can see them bubbles but they're there probably hard to see against the white but they are there starting to come up Get a wipe. Wipe my hands. Oh, 
Okay, so you can start seeing some of those bubbles come up. And what you want to do is just go around the edge, like skim it. You're just going to skim it. You are going to skim. You are not going to go onto the um, resin. You are just going to skim around the edge on top and get rid of some of them bubbles, okay? Yeah, I should have got my other. Probably be best if you get get a long light or like the kind used for grilling and stuff. That way you could get in there and get those get those bubbles. Go around the edge. Cause the bubbles like to gather around the edge. You gotta go in the middle and get those. And another thing is that this is not the end of the bubbles. You get rid of these bubbles, more bubbles are gonna come up. Because when you poured it, all the bubbles are working their way up. So, you're going to need to watch it for a bit. Because another batch of bubbles might come up and you need to bust those bubbles so you can have a clear glass of milk. Because you don't want it to have bubbles around the edge. Even though sometimes when you pour a glass of water, um, glass of water, a glass of milk, you know the little bubbles form around the edge. Um... But if you don't want the bubbles, you need to bust them. Some people even put alcohol uh, spray in a bottle and spray it. I have not used that method, but it has been, and you know, I've seen it done. But this is what I've used. So I'm just showing you guys what I've done and used myself. But... Trying to see if some more of these bubbles come up so you guys can see that they are working their way up. Just make sure you get rid of them if you don't want them on the edge. So these this milk is perfect for Santa for Christmas time when you'll be leaving a cup of milk out for Santa with some cookies. Or, you know, for any reason. So, here goes. This is the milk I made. This one is set. This one, I've made it a while ago. And this is the one we just made. So, you see it's milk. And that's how you make it. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that milk tutorial. And until the next video, stay safe, stay healthy, keep crafting, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.